Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time and depending on when you're going to be seeing this video. It's your brother, your boy, Cost Reps Corner. Like I always tell you guys, it's my corner, it's your corner, and it's a corner. I don't wanna fall in love. I just wanna have some fun, yeah. I don't wanna fall in love. For me, it is a very simple thing when you listen to my principal, Mr. Peter Obi, what he has told us as young people in Nigeria. During his campaign, he said, take back your country. And we went around telling all that it is time. Um, they always tell us that youths are the leaders of tomorrow. But I told uh, most of our people who are people, I'm on the video as well, I said, tomorrow is now. The future we, we heard about is here. That you Nigeria is here. So I'm here to really, not to campaign, but to come and tell my father, that I want to go to a new state to offer myself to serve the people. But it's only wise as an Edoman to go to your father, the leader of our party, who is also a son of a new to say, sir, we need your blessing. That's really why we're here, because we believe it's a new day and a new deal. It's time for a new direction, a new vision. It's time to work with the five C's that people did preach nationally in the state level. I believe in the competence, capacity, compassion, character, and commitment. That people please, we can take that to a goal. Who is already obedient? I believe that our state that is very obedient is our obedient governor. That's why I'm here to ask for my leader to bless the journey as I go to a new state. Thank you very much. Labour Party! Forever! Forward ever! LUP! LP! 79. Thank you. The National Secretary, the National Organizing Secretary, Women Leader, National Treasurer, and all other National Working Committee members here present, I have the singular honor this afternoon to welcome to the National Secretariat my own brother who is part and parcel of the vision to reclaim Nigeria and to reclaim Edo State. I, there is no gay saying the fact that our dear country, you see, their needs of competent, qualitative leaders with capacity, with leaders with vision, leaders who have what it takes to reposition the country for effective performance. And today, I'm happy that along this line, we are raising leaders, we are raising followers who are bought into that vision to reclaim our country and to be specific to reclaim a dual state. There is equally no doubt that for us in a dual state, we have been most unfortunate to produce leaders who have not worked for the people of Edo. I say so because if you take a cursory look at the history of the state, even during, during military government in Nigeria, Edo people have been most unfortunate to always get administrators who were not from that state and they never had the mind of developing the state. When we also had democracy, it has also been unfortunate for us in Edo, we've never had the privilege of having visionary, committed, competent, and compassionate leaders that will be able to reposition Edo for greatness. And that's why for me, the 2024 Guba election in Edo is going to be a turning point in the history of Edo State. I say so because Labour Party, no doubt, 
will take over the leadership of Edo come next year. Amen. We have strategically positioned ourselves. We have strategi strategically positioned the party to be the one that will rescue Edo State. It is therefore little wonder, like he said, Edo State is obedient. There's no good saying about it. It is not by accident. It is by design. And we have done the work and we believe very strongly that with the right candidates, with the right personnel, with the right strategy, we'll be able to reclaim Edo State and put it on the path of growth and development. For the past few years, we can say that Edo State it's now backwards in terms of growth, in terms of development, in terms of infrastructure. But I'm very sure that when Labour Party takes over government next year, there will be a change in that tide. I will be able, a Labour Party government in Edo will be able to reposition the state for greatness. We'll be able to restore the past glories that Edo State is known for. Um, today is not for campaign. But probably I just felt it was necessary to make a brief summary of our trajectory so that the people of Edo and the people of Nigeria will really know where we are coming from and will be able to appreciate why they must take their destiny in their hands come 2024. I have no doubt in my mind that the Edo people will do the right thing. We have always done that. When the PDP government became, when the, PB, when, it was very, when the PDP government could not perform before, 20, before 2006, and those people rose to the occasion and changed the government. It is another time for change. And the do people will change and will vote for Labour Party come 2024. Our quarrel always with PDP and APC over the years has been that they lack internal party democracy. Because Labour Party believes that where the process that is used to incubate leaders is faulty, then of course you can never produce good leaders. And this is, in my view, why PDP and APC have not been able to give us leaders that will change the narrative in the country. And for us in Labour Party, we are going to ensure a level playing field for all candidates in Edo 2024. There will be equal treatment, the primaries will be free, the primaries will be credible, the primaries will be competitive, because it is out of competitiveness, that's when the best will come out. As national chairman of the party, even though I hail from Edo State, I want to state here categorically that I will not have an anointed candidate. The process is going to be free. It is the delegates of the party, party members in Edo that will determine who becomes the flag bearer in Edo State. I therefore want to assure my own brother, who has come to educate his interest today, that whether he's just joining now, and those that are going to join tomorrow, we have a level playing field. I've also made a comment in Edo when I was there last week that Edo 2024 will not be for deep pockets because deep pockets have put us in trouble in the past. And this is one of the uniqueness of Labour Party. It's one of the philosophy that Peter Obi stands for. We are going to look for the best amongst us. We are going to look for the best among party members, the person that we feel will be able to drive the process of growth and development for Edo people. It is that person that we have the tickets. And we will all put our resources together. We will all put our efforts together. 
will all put our energy together and ensure that that person becomes governor. And the purpose of doing that is to ensure that at every point in time when he derails, we will be able to hold him accountable. So I assure my brother of a level playing field. I assure him that the primary should be free, 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 fair, and credible. And as Labour Party, we will always do the right thing. <laughs> Having said this, that politics is local. Politics is not played at the, at the national level. Your units, you need to go back to your ward. You need to go back to your state to go and identify with them. Show your presence and go and start working. Other candidates are already ahead of you. Other candidates are already doing work and providing for the people, familiarizing themselves with the members of the party. And so I admonish you that it does not end here. Like I said, I would not impose any candidate on the, uh, any aspirant or any candidate on the party members in Edo. So I admonish that you go back home, familiarize yourself with the leaders of the party in your ward, in your unit, at the local government level and at the state level. Familiarize yourself with the executive members at your ward level, unit level, and they be on ground. Recruit new members to the party. Where the party is lacking, we expect that you should be able to cover the gap so that we'll be sure that you'll be able to get the primaries. I want to conclude this address once more by welcoming you to the party and um, appreciate you for coming. Thank you and God bless you.